When you said you don't think about it, about the kind of man you are now, you should. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon Select. I first want to say, let's let's talk about Jesse Lee Safari. Bro, our boy Jay Halstead directed one hell of an episode, bro. This man, what a great directorial debut battle, bro. Did he did a magnificent job directing this episode? Boy, I love some of the camera shots in this one. And the way things were used as far as like Voight. This was this was like this gave me like vibes of the old school Voight when he just took care of things himself. And sometimes alone. Like it was giving me those vibes, man. Like Voight, man, this was one of his better episodes in a while since probably last season with the crew stuff. I mean the Anna and uh, the Anna, the Anna stuff, and boy, but man, he was he was on demon time, man. He was on demon time in this one, man, because it was like y'all know he been trying to take down, you know, that gangster uh, Arturo Morales, and there was a juror who got bullied by him and, and to making this a dead making this a jury decision a deadlock right so he bullied him to try to get him to vote the other way so it could be a deadlock and he get free and he ended up finding out that his wife was missing like they took his wife i guess he threatened him hey if you go against me i'm gonna kill your wife so he uh the wife got kidnapped in in void you know, tried to search for and see where she was at. He finally found her towards the end of the episode. And he took out two dudes who was holding her captive. He almost got shot on the second. The second guy almost shot him. And, uh, it was, man, it was an action-packed, thrilling uh, showcase here from uh, Voight. Like, I just love the way Voight was using the di directorial stuff. I mean, like, that scene when he went into that little warehouse or whatever, a factory or whatever, where they made coffins at. Yeah, that was scary, man. I like the way Jay shot that scene right there, man. Um, and I'm glad the wife was ended up being okay, even though she had a lot of blood loss uh, from her brain. And the juror, uh, he got sent to the, uh, he took him to the hospital or whatever. But the background story on this episode was that a uh, ASA Chapman was left out of the dark about what Voight was doing behind the scenes to get this done. To make sure Arturo Morales uh, goes away for life. Because he had also got his, uh, the guy that was in charge b below him. The guy that actually was sent the orders to go kidnap the juror's uh, wife. And then they took him down and his brother had like cancer or whatever. So he ended up making a deal with him because he wanted to make sure his brother didn't have to do too much time. For being in that house with the drugs or whatever. And that's scary man that like. You get charged, even if it ain't your all the drugs, it wasn't your possession and stuff like that. Like, that's crazy, man, that you could still do time for somebody else's mistakes. But uh, ASA Chapman was left out of the dark by and she confronted Voight at the end of the episode about it. And you know how they've been talking about, like, man, they're going to get drinks or whatever together. But it wasn't no drinks like this because they had a similar, like, the last episode, you know, or the last episode they had together. At the end, you know, she was talking about, like, how Voight isn't really who he's portrayed as or whatever. And that he's comfortable being in his own skin, in his own shoes. But this time, because he hid this from her, she kind of lashed out on him about it. And he was like, yeah, this is it, though. You know, this is how it's going to be. Voight knows, man. This is how Voight takes care of things, man. He can't, like... He knew that Chapman was probably going to stop this stuff from happening. And he wasn't going to get this done for the jury. He wasn't going to get, you know, get his wife back, man. So, you know, Voight knew what he had to do, man. It was crazy, but Voight knew what he had to do. That's how he loved Voight, man. He knew what he had to do, man. Give me y'all thoughts on this one, man. I'm going to come back to wrap this up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go on ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign, Sack Exchange, to send any donation to the Cash App. 
here are the top donators and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more thank you yeah man this is a good episode good episode man jay again salute to you man i can see why you want to become a director now <laughs> you did a really good job that's your calling bro that is your calling man i've been and it's crazy because i've been watching jesse since uh when he was on ask the world turns and he had another role and he was younger when he was a kid so he'd been acting for a while and he was just wanting to go in a new direction man. I, I really seriously think eric lasalle you know he was an actor too on er and like how he got behind the camera and stuff like that and and I think he probably talked to him about it a long time ago and been wanting to do this ever since. And, and probably just said, look, I'm going to finish last season out. And part of this season, the first three episodes, I'm, I'm going to go behind the camera, bro. Because he's still really close to the cast. Like, he's always hanging on the set and stuff like that. So, everything was good, man. I'm glad, man, because people was people was being ridiculous about thinking he was cut for uh, mo money reasons and it was proved wrong. It was proved wrong, so that's crazy, man. That is crazy. But uh, yeah, man. So next video we're gonna talk about the promo for next week with Burgess, and uh, man, Burgess, boy, 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 oh boy, oh boy. I talk about that real quick. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, delight.